when you start having a fear with the spirit of lust leading you to masturbation and pornography you are going to birth children yes spiritually yes every intercourse is anticipated a procreation procreation is anticipated of every intercourse please understand that mental intercourse will produce or will procreate depression rejection insecurity anger and suicidal thoughts these are the children of masturbation and pornography even sexual violence where a person will lose his moral compass of life you come under the child you come under the children of depression you will lose direction you come under perpetual control of satan that's what happens mark my words go and do your research consult everybody that masturbates they're always depressed they're always withdrawn they're withdrawn people violent sometimes depending on the temperament let me tell you what pornography does pornography encourages addiction to lusts pornography it's more or less like a catalyst. Pornography is a facilitator. It's an energizer. A, a, a mobilizer. It, 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 it advances. It, it feeds. It nourishes lust. Lust can, can die if you don't nourish it. If you don't, if, if, if you don't nourish lusts, it will die. Lust is so, it's so lust is, is, is like uh, the sperm of a, a man. It doesn't last. It will come out to just die off. When the sperm is released, it has a lifespan of five days or a couple of days, it dies. Lust is that way. So lust is like the sperm of Satan that creeps into a man's consciousness. But pornography, masturbation, and sec continued sexual intercourse continue to feed, nourish, expand, procreate. Lusts. So I've just given you a key, right? What to do? Starve your lust. Starve your lust. Starve it. Starve your lust. When, when that urge comes for you to masturbate, don't. When that urge comes for you to watch pornography, don't. That's how it is. 